PhotoKey makes it easy and fast to process single green screen images, but it is also optimized for professional workflows involving large batches of photos. Perfect for all you event photographers out there. The basic workflow involves three steps. Number one, import your images, either directly or automatically using a hot folder. Secondly, process your images. Third, export the final composites. I'm Aaron Patel and this video will tell you all you need to know about the first step of importing. To begin with, let's go back a step and discuss setting up your canvas before you import. Let's select the canvas tool set and bring up the details of our image size. The preset menu gives you a variety of standard print sizes to choose from. There are also as foreground and as background options, which will set up the canvas to use the exact pixel dimension and resolution of your imported images. As foreground is a great option for keeping your green screen images at maximum quality and is probably the best preset when you're shooting large quantities of consistently framed green screen images at an event. The next two buttons let you manually specify landscape or portrait aspect. If you intend to mix both aspects within a single project, then use the as foreground or as background options, which will adapt to each individual image as they come through. Resolution controls the numbers of dots per inch and relates to printing. The scale of a digital image can be changed so the dots per inch are less relevant, but when you print an image, the printer needs to know how many dots per inch to use to map the image onto paper. 300 dpi is the common standard for high quality photographic prints. If you select custom from the presets menu, then you can specify any width or height you wish to use in pixels. If you wish to use a print size that isn't in the menu, then multiply your desired size in inches by the dpi you wish to use to get your custom size in pixels. This tick box to make a greeting card will set up your image for printing so it's placed on half a sheet and can be folded into a card Perfect for turning your images into a quick, simple, and effective product to add to your event shoots. Canvas color can be used to fill your background with a solid color. It doesn't require any background image to be imported as it's generated by PhotoKey. Use it in conjunction with the vignette effect to create a simple, pleasing background for portraits. Once you have all your canvas settings where you want them, you're now ready to import your images. But before we get heavily into batch processing, you might also want to adjust the layout in your interface to best suit your preference. PhotoKey 7 Pro allows you to totally customize this experience. In the file menu, select options, and we have a few choices to select from. The toolset can be positioned on either side. So if you want the toolset and the toolbox to be on the same side of the screen, that's easily done. The viewer controls can also be repositioned at the bottom of the screen. Select your preferred options from the menu there. If you work with color profiles, you'll find the color management controls in the options. Ticking these two boxes is an easy way to ensure consistent color for each image. But if you do want to set up more advanced color profile handling, this is where it's done. Once you've selected the options you want to use, click OK and our new settings, including the position of the tool set, will take effect. It's also worth noting that the toolbox can be moved. You can drag it right out of the interface if you want so it's floating and you can dock it to either side of the interface by dragging it near the edge. Again, this is purely a matter of preference, so place it wherever it's most natural and convenient for you. So now we're ready to import some images, for real this time. Direct import is very straightforward and pretty universal among all applications. In the import toolset, click the import button and select the image or images you want to import. You can also drag and drop images into the PhotoKey 7 Pro interface. PhotoKey 7 Pro also has comprehensive controls for automated import of images, which are designed for event photography and other jobs where speed is critical. You can work with the tethered camera so that each image you shoot is instantly imported into PhotoKey for processing. Let's look at details of how that works. Now, PhotoKey doesn't control your camera tether directly. Instead, you can use whatever tethering software you prefer. For this example, I'm going to use Adobe Lightroom. Set up Lightroom, or whatever tethering software you use, so that the images you shoot can be stored in a specific folder on your hard drive. My folder is called Import Tutorial and is on a secondary drive. The name of the folder and its location aren't important as long as you know where they are. The folder where your images are saved to will be our hot folder. Back in PhotoKey, select the Import Toolset and enable the Use Hot Folder option. Click the button with the ellipses on it to select the folder that your images will be stored in in my case, the one we created earlier, Import Tutorial. 
If there are any images already in the folder, they will be imported straight away subsequently. Any new images you shoot will instantly appear in the import toolbox as soon as they are created. There's also an option to auto select the newest image. Use this if you want each image that you shoot to be immediately selected and displayed on the canvas as soon as it's imported. If you prefer to manually select the image to work on or need to make more individual adjustments at your own pace, then leave it off. At this point, we have our images being imported into the software automatically and they are ready for processing. It's usually advisable to import one or two right away and use them to set up your key settings and positioning. Once these settings are dialed in, the bulk of the images can be processed with very little effort. I'm Aaron Patel for PhotoKey, and I hope you'll join me for part two of this workflow series where we'll discuss details of batch processing your images. Until then, thanks for watching and have fun with PhotoKey.